Hey guys, True Beauty Forever here, and today I am filming another True Beauty Vlogmas video. Today we are doing a Fenty Beauty holiday makeup look, and this is what we came up with. We use mostly Fenty Beauty products. We use the Fenty Beauty Galaxy palette, and we also use the new Fenty Beauty lip paints. So, so I'm gonna be giving you guys my thoughts on all the products that I use today, especially this little guy that she claims is universally flattering. So if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so we are starting off with the Pro Filter Primer and applying that all over the face. And then we are going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Sponge, which I love, by the way and the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the shade 460. And after seeing it um, on camera, I realized that it's a tad bit too dark for me. I wonder how the 450 would be on me, but I have not tried it and I have not seen it in person to swatch either. That's not Next, I'm going into the Matchstick Trio, and first I'm using the concealer shade, which is suede underneath the eyes and on the points of my face that I want highlighted. Looking looks like I put nothing on. You know what? I really want to put another concealer on because as you can see, it's like very sheer, very natural. I'm not used to it being this natural. Okay, so I'm going to use the Fit Me powder. I know this is not a Fenty Beauty product, but I don't have her blotting powder and highlight underneath my eyes to try to brighten it some and make it have better coverage because this matchstick is not enough coverage and it doesn't look even it's hard to blend out so i'm just taking that on a luxie 660 precision brush that way i can have a little bit more covered ridge <laughs> what i'm sorry ready whisper what do you make <laughs> <laughs> hilarious okay guys so i'm gonna try and contour and as you can see this does absolutely nothing for my complexion with this foundation on where's the contour at riri i love you girl you've accomplished a lot this year you won launch of the year award but you need to make one more set one more trio because this ain't cutting it so um if i were just depending on fenty beauties contour stick to contour there wouldn't be a contour so we're just gonna blend that out but i just wanted to show you guys that so now we're gonna go on to eyes okay you guys so as you guys know rihanna did not put any matte shades in this galaxy palette so i'm gonna be using the jaclyn hill morphe palette and i actually have one to give away to you guys so if you made it to this point in the video thank you so much for being a real ass bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a loyal viewer and subscriber. So to win your own version of this, or to win your own palette, not a damn version. <laughs> now it's not the new fancy packaging that Jacqueline all of a sudden decided she wanted to put out. I love you Jacqueline Hill, but that's some fake. So if you wanna win one of your own of this palette, all you have to do is subscribe, click the bell, like this video, and leave me a comment down below. Your comment can be whatever you want. You can comment as many times as you want. And this is gonna be open for a week from this upload. That's all you gotta do. Thank you so much. I'm about to take a Morphe brush. You a grill man. I'm pissed about this package. <laughs> I'm pissed. Look at this. Let's take a brief intermission, y'all. Look at this packaging. Why did she put it in a cardboard box? And then a few months later, put it in a nice glossy ass packaging. But anyways, I don't know the names of your shadows because they're not anywhere in the palette. I'm gonna go into whatever name this is. I don't know the name y'all. And I'm gonna use it as a transition color. He just went off. <laughs> it, you, words cannot describe how mad that makes me though. We'll call this one peanut butter. I'm gonna make my own names, Jacqueline, because you don't have the names in the in the damn palette. 
I forgot to show you guys the shade, but I went into a reddish tone shade. We'll call it brick. And I applied that on the outer part of the crease to add a little bit more warmth to the crease. Now I'm going into extra terrestrial and I'm going to apply it on the lid with a flat shader brush. This is what it's like, just straight dry. Okay, re re bitch. I'm gonna spray it with a little Mario Badesco rose water. Now I'm going into the color Sublime and I'm taking that on a smaller that brush and putting that on the inner half of the lid for a nice little brush. Okay, I might have to retract my statements on this palette, y'all, cause it's bomb. So this is what my eyes are looking like right now, y'all. And I'm just taking a tad bit of light year on the outer corner. We're gonna leave this palette alone for now. I'm gonna go back into my Morphe brush and go into this color. I'm gonna take that on this same Morphe brush and I'm gonna put it in the crease. I'm gonna take Summer Orange here and I'm gonna use this on the inner part of my crease, on the inner half. Just to add a tad bit of warmth because green is a very cool tone shade, but I'm feeling it. Green is very nice though. If you have uh, brown eyes, make sure eyes pop a little bit more, but I'm just feathering it into that hot chocolate shade we just applied. I want to take the infamous beloved Shookening Trophy Wife. We're gonna take her and she's so pigmented that I don't think I need to wet my brush, but I'm gonna put it in the inner tear duct Yes, yes. I feel like I need to put a, something a little matte on the lid. I'm gonna take this color, we're gonna call it forest green, and I'm gonna take it on that same brush. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just place it on the outer V. On the inner part of the lower lash line, I'm taking the lightest green glitter and I'm using Rihanna's Holiday Liquid Liner in Nepturnt to line my eyes. Next, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder in number 35 to wipe away the bake and hopefully the fallout. Y'all, I'm trying real hard to cover this fallout. Worst idea of 2017 that I've had so far this year. We're going for um, avant-garde glittery under eye realness today. Just so I can so show y'all what it looks like, I'm using the matchstick highlighter in the shade cinnamon i think it's very gorgeous but again it's very neutral see cream products like this are a little bit harder for me to get down with just because like it's harder to blend out, whereas a powder, you just place it where you want it, use some Fix Plus. It's my fault because I don't know how to work with cream products that great. So this is what it looks like blended out. We're gonna hold off on highlight for a bit because based off how this looks, it's gonna determine which highlight we use. This is the Fenty Beauty Lip Paint in Uncensored. I know all of y'all have seen this all over Instagram. Um, it feels very expensive, so I like that because it was expensive. And this is what the applicator looks like. My friend told me to be very careful applying this, so. <laughs> Rihanna! All right, Ted Crockett. I'm gonna have a few f choice words for Miss Robin Fenty in a minute because I don't know how I feel about this. But ma'am, ma'am, do you see this? Do you see this, ma'am? Maybe it's the eyes, guys. I'll give it one more shot without all this green. But this, no ma'am, no ma'am, no ma'am. This looks neon orange on me. And I'm not the deep, I saw Ducky Thought wear this and it looked beautiful on her, but she's a supermodel. <laughs> Rihanna, 
I'm gonna need you to make some deeper reds in this, please, ma'am, okay? Because this is not, this is not flattering in my personal opinion for me. Okay, so I'm gonna put the color sugar on the outskirts. All right, so now I'm highlighting with Trophy Wife and you only need a very little amount because it's extremely pigmented. And I'm going to set that with the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Bet. And voila, it is a fancy holiday look. So I'm just gonna give you guys a brief rundown of my thoughts on products that I used today because I never really did that. So as far as the primer goes, I like the primer. I think it's a decent primer. It's different from all my other primers though because it's more of a moisturizer. Most of my primers are more silicone based, but I do think it's nice and hydrating. I've actually used it with other foundations too. That's my thoughts on that. The foundation, I like the foundation. It is extremely matte though. I probably won't use it as much in the winter time. I'll probably wait till more so the like the summertime. The matchsticks. I somewhat like the matchsticks. I like that the concealer is so matte that you don't have to set it with a powder, but it makes it also kind of hard to blend out and it's not the most coverage in the world. Typically when I use that matchstick, I will use another concealer that is more full coverage on top and easier to blend. But I didn't want to do that today since this is a Fenty Beauty video. The contour stick is not deep enough. Like I said, you know, Rihanna did an amazing job with her inclusivity, but I think if she dropped one more set of matchsticks that would probably be the set I'd pick up or at least that would be the contour shade I would pick up I do love the cinnamon matchstick it's beautiful very nice highlighter shade the highlighters are absolutely phenomenal I love the Ginger Binge Moscow Mule. I also love Trophy Wife. The eyeshadows. I already told you guys my thoughts on the palette I do think that this look is very nice Rihanna this is not universally flattering I'm sorry, it's just not. Didn't flatter my ass. So I, I just side-eyed it when I saw her market it as universally flattering. It's very hard to get one shade of anything to look amazing on everybody. And I have seen deeper skin tone girls where this looks great on them, but this looks like neon orange on me. And it does look nice now that I've toned it down with a deeper red, but straight up on its own, I can't say that I would recommend well, I'll have to try it one more time with like a neutral eye and see how it looks then because straight up on its own with this look, I didn't like it. And for $24, I need to love it. I need to love it. The liner, I think it's very nice and dark. I didn't think it would be a point of using this green, but my friend encouraged me to do it and you can actually see it even though it's green. I like the liner. Okay guys, so this is the finished look and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Definitely subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any other videos. And don't forget to enter the giveaway. I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh my God, this is the most. Okay, and I'm gonna put it, huh? You just showed me <gasps> I'm so sorry! Wait, oh what? my god! <laughs> okay, you guys, I just flashed my male friend on accident. Wait, what happened? I didn't even think about it. He said I just showed him my bra. <laughs> she completely just lifted up. I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Randy. <laughs> Oh, you see these tears? Sponsor me. I am. Be very careful. I will. You sound like you had a traumatizing experience. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas.